An individualized psychological approach to acting. The method requires performers to draw on his or her own self, on experiences, memories, and emotions that can inform a characterization and shape how a character might speak or move. This is a strange story, and I'm not sure I really want to tell it. In um, 1970, uh, um, one, one night I was le leaving uh, my girlfriend's house, and uh, she lived in like the East 50s, and uh, I um, was, was jaywalking across the street. I was trying to get home as soon as possible, and... Uh, what time do you think it was? Mm, it could have been one or two, and um, I started to cross the street, and I noticed that there was a cab turning onto the avenue, and uh, I started to proceed, and... Uh, the cab looked like it was sort of coming to me, so I started to move uh, in a different direction, and then the cab turned to in a different direction, and then uh, I moved uh, in a different way to try to cross the street, and the cab followed me, and I was I was a little bit annoyed. I was saying, you know, like what's happening with this cab driver? It was almost like he was trying to hit me or something. This was weird. And then I uh, looked in the cab, and uh, I noticed that it was uh, Robert De Niro who was driving the cab. And uh, at first I was, you know, saying, you know, what is, what is with this? This is sort of nutty. So he, uh, he was in the cab, and uh, he stuck his head out of the window. And he was like laughing and he was like waving and saying, oh, no, no, it's just, you know, something like it's, it's not real or something. And I, I didn't understand what, you know, really was what he was talking about. And then I you know, proceeded to go home. Uh, later on, uh, uh, I realized that uh, he was making a movie called uh, Taxi Cab Driver and that... Uh, uh, he had uh, been uh, going around driving his cab throughout the city to get in the, the, the character of the taxi driver, like a. The name of the movie is Taxi ta Taxi Driver, right? Taxi Driver, yeah. and uh, uh, and that's what he was doing, and, and, and then it all made sense to me uh, uh, that uh, you know wh uh, why he was in a cab, why he was uh, driving that. But you didn't know at the time that. No, I didn't know at the time because the movie was was being done at that time. Mm -hmm. It was uh, uh, it was actually being filmed at the time, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I didn't know until later that it was him. <laughs> but it was uh, it was sort of strange in a way because the thing is that I um, I really didn't tell a lot of people because it sounded a little nutty. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like. You know, if you tell, oh, uh, you know, I have a story to tell, and uh, Robert De Niro almost, uh, you know, tried to run me down in a taxi cab. Um, uh, they said, what are you talking about? And, you know, it sounds like this guy is, you know, off his rocker. Um, but uh, that's what happened. Daddy. You talking to me? Characters are thus shown to have an interior life. Rather than being stereotyped figures representing a single concept, the villain, the heroine, they can become complex human beings with multiple and contradictory feelings and desires. The ability to convey the complexity, the confusion of inner feelings, to be fully in the moment of the character and experience all sensations as the character would. Uh, whereas after the 50s, especially uh, uh, like Brando, they would actually uh, try to become the person they would, uh, 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 there was more of a grittiness to their acting, they were more brooding. They would think the part over, they would try to become the person. And uh, uh, it would be a, a more psychological approach to the acting. Taxi Driver is the story of Travis Bickle, a Vietnam veteran 
who spends his life driving a cab through the seedy streets of New York. He prowls around 42nd Street and the New York Port Authority like an alien in a space capsule. De Niro worked on Taxi Driver for only a fraction of what he was being offered in the wake of his Oscar. So on a humid June night, a yellow taxi cab emerged from a cloud of steam billowing up from a New York street, and Taxi Driver finally got underway. Travis Bickle is a man who is in emotional pain throughout the film. His method training would have encouraged De Niro to bring his own pain to the part. The actor stayed in his trailer for most of the shoot, away from the rest of the crew. Even Scorsese asked permission before disturbing him. But De Niro still contributed a number of ideas, of ideas to Bickle's character. The pain and isolation that lingered from his childhood, and which the therapy had not been adequately able to deal with, would manifest themselves in a portrayal that is as uncomfortable to watch as it must have been to play. De Niro felt he had to earn the right to play Travis. He acquired a probationary taxi driver's license, had his fingerprints taken by the police, as the law required, and drove a cab in the New York streets for several weeks. Despite money not being important, he managed to make $100 a week, including tips. No one recognized him, except a fellow actor who had innocently flagged down his cab. Jesus, said the actor, according to Martin Scorsese, who tells the story with glee. You won the Oscar, and now you're driving a cab again? De Niro explained that he was only doing research, to which his fellow thespian replied, it's okay, Bobby, I've been there too. Whether he believed him or not, his former colleague gave De Niro a dollar tip for his troubles. So, it was the middle of the night, or very early in the morning, and you were walking home uh, from somewhere in Midtown, and you were crossing the street, and it was pretty late at night, so there weren't that many people around, and you noticed a taxi um, turn the corner and sort of drive towards you. Um, and so you moved out of the way, and the taxi kept following you, almost like he was, you know, trying to, like, hit you or something. Like, you kept moving around, and the taxi kept teasing you. Um, and then you looked into the window of the taxi, and you noticed that it was Robert De Niro driving the taxi. Um, and then, you know, found out later, obviously, that he was doing it for the movie. Um, but, and it's funny, because I, uh, I tell everyone that story. It's, like, my favorite story, and everyone always knows about, like, my father's Robert De Niro story, um, and, you know, give you some credit in the making of the character in the movie.